For our next unit, we're going to be studying Excel and Access. So we're going to start with Excel. We've used Excel a few times already this school year, so we're going to kind of get back to the basics and review some of the assignments that we've already started. So this assignment we started near the beginning of the school year, and this was to keep track of all your assignments, the software that we've used, a description of the software. We haven't talked about extensions yet, but also what have we done in this particular software. So with Word, we've done summaries and teleassignments, history overview. You know, with PowerPoint, you can add in um, career PowerPoint. We also used it for review. And you can add in Google Sites, Publisher. So take a look at your list here and think about all the assignments that you've created since you've started this spreadsheet. And I want you to add to it. So if there's any other software that you can think of, and add into your assignment. So this was the first page, the first sheet of this assignment, of this spreadsheet. So you want to just get it up to date. Now, one of the days right before fall break, we also created a second tab. So you see there's tabs over here. We renamed the tab assignments and we did just another list. Now, if you forgot about how to, to rename, we're going to come down here to the tab and you do a right mouse click. And you see one of the options right here is rename. So if you haven't renamed your tabs yet, the first tab was software and the second tab was assignments. So you can kind of go back, remember, do a right mouse click and you can rename. And we're not using sheet three, but we do have two sheets, software and assignments. Now for the assignments page, we started this together. We have assignment, the software that we used for it, the unit, if it was considered an assignment or an assessment, and if you completed it or not. So we started way back at the very beginning with our class overview. We started with the intro unit. We went on to computer history, computer safety, and we went on to most of computer today, and then we still have some updating to do. Now if you go back to the class website, everything is listed there. So if you look at the intro unit, down at the bottom of the first page, here's the assignments and the assessments. Now if you go to computer history, just go below the calendar, there's the assignments and the assessments. Now we went on to computer safety, there's the assignments and the assessments. And since you've been working on your digital portfolio, you probably have these close in your mind. Computers today, this is when we're working on it, here's all the assignments and the assessments. So if you got a little bit behind or you need to get caught up or you were absent that day, you can come back here and you can find the things that you need to add into your spreadsheet. So we finish up computers today and then you need to put in all the assignments for how computers work. And most of them were assignments, we just had the one assessment. You can also include your digital portfolio. We're just using Google Sites for this assignment so you can add that in. So as you're working on your spreadsheet, you want to go back and check if it's an assignment or if it's an assessment, then also did you complete it? So you can go into your student view and you can take a look at each one of these. And if you did complete it, put an X. And if you didn't complete it, you're not going to put the X. And that will help remind you anything that you still need to work on. And just another quick thing that you can remember, if you've got your, if you want to um, type here, instead of typing everything, one of the shortcuts was you could click and then you see this little box in the corner. I can drag this box and it's going to copy. So they'll all, it'll fill in. So I can do the same thing. Once I've got my computers, how computers work, I just put it one time. I can go to this little box in the lower right hand corner and I can just copy it. So I don't have to do a lot of typing. I'm just going to copy. And then for the last one, this one is my digital portfolio. And another reminder for you is if the assignment used two different things, you list it twice. Like for Intel, all the Intel assignments, we used Word and Explore. Uh, for our binary numbers, we also used the computer's calculator. Um, so just kind of for, for review two, we used the PowerPoint presentation that was our little game. So some assignments are going to be listed more than once. So just kind of keep that in mind. And so today is your day to get both of these tabs. So the software tab, you want to update it. Um, include any extra software programs that we've been using and add to your assignments. And the assignments tab, you're listing every single assignment, sometimes more than once, with the software that you use, the unit, 
if it's considered an assignment or an assessment, and if you completed it. So some of you might have turned it in before, but it wasn't due before today. So at the end of the class period today, you should have it finished. You're going to put your name in the header. So remember, you're going to come to Insert. You're going to find your header and footer so that it comes up. Make sure that you put your name in the header. Okay? If there's no name, we don't know who to give it a grade to. So add your name in your header and then save it into your student account and save it into the backpack for a grade. So we're going to use this spreadsheet to do more things such as charts and pivot tables and pivot charts. So it's important that you get it all up to date. But you can, once you have it filled in the way that so it looks similar to this, then go ahead and turn this part in for a grade and then we're going to keep using it for some more things.